let's take a look at this bucket. So I've got peach, roses, I've got purple asters, there's some spirea. I found this little rose, I think it's sun, I'll put the name on it if I can remember. But we're going to see if it adds to it or takes away from that peach one. And then I have Dusty Miller. And then way in here, kind of getting lost in the water, are these awesome textured balls that are kind of cool. All right, so let's put this together. Start with a base. Lately I've been loving the spirea branches. And then we're going to add supporting foliage or supporting flowers. Let's go get those. So this giant aster, pardon my language, <laughs> it I think it'll just get right in there with it. So we threw a huge stem on either side. I like to make it nice and tight in my hands. Now we're going to grab some supporting flowers. When you're trying to decide what colors to use, use the color wheel. It's amazing. It'll show you complementary colors. It'll show you contrast. Get that color wheel out. As you add to your bouquet, turn. Turn the bouquet and add those flowers in. Now we're going to add a contrast flower to the focal flower. As you're building your bouquet, don't forget to step back. Sometimes even looking through a mirror or a camera will help you decide if you like it. So I have this really beautiful sunset rose and I already have these really gorgeous peach roses. So I'm going to kind of add it to it and see if I like it. If I don't like it, you can always redo it. What do you guys think? So now we need a little bit of wow and a little bit of sparkle. I think Dusty Miller adds so much to a bouquet. So let's figure out where we want those. So I just added the Dusty Miller to the edge. Don't forget to add some texture. This bouquet needs some white to pull it all together. And I might pull it a lot more tight because it's way more free flowing than I like. So I think I'm going to pull it a lot more tighter, but I'm trying to just show you some of the rules that I go by. I want to cut that rose. That is pretty. A lot more light pink than I thought. I thought those were a lot more white. This white jello bush would be awesome. But I have cut so much off of it. All I have left are the browns. And I don't think they're pretty enough for a bouquet anymore. If you don't like it, redo it. I made this one a lot tighter. And I'm liking it better. So have some fun working with color. Working in your yard. Just play. See you later. Bye.